to the vertical. Hello pilots, welcome back to Motion RC and today we're going to be doing a build video on our brand new one meter Havoc. This is coming from Skynetic which is our new in-house brand for foam electric aircraft. As you can tell, I'm not in my usual studio because we announced this bad boy at Knoll in the fall. So I'm down at the electric line at Triple Tree Aerodrome, again for Knoll in the fall. And we have two of them. One, Wesley Miller of the Merry Boozer RC channel. He joined us. He was flying this one around when we did a live unboxing and announcement uh, on YouTube. And I had a second one in the box. So I just wanted to take you guys step by step through what comes in the box take you through a step-by-step -step build and go through the spec of this beautiful Havoc. And then obviously you want to check the description of this video. You'll have links to flying videos because we've been flying them a lot uh, while we're here at Triple Tree. So let's just show you real quick. Uh, this is the Havoc fresh out of the box. Again, one meter wingspan. She is a one piece wing and you'll see we got some great shots up against the sun. There are about six different spars in this one piece wing yet. It is super thin. It is razor thin. This is um, our take on the Sport Racer. So this is again designed by Just Motion RC's in-house in team. And uh, we wanted to keep the lines as close as we could to the real unlimited class of Reno Race Mustangs. You can clearly see that this is an evolution, if you will, of a Mustang design. They even got some nice scale features like the exhaust already molded in. Looks mean. We got a clear canopy on top, which comes off uh, with just magnets, but anybody who wants to do a little manipulation, you could get an FPV camera in there, which would be nice, or you could put a little pilot in there if you wanted to. Cavernous uh, Bay, as you can see, I have a 2500 Admiral Pro. That's what I'm gonna fly on, because that's uh, gonna give me the 50C rating, but we are recommending 2200 4S is where you could go and look at all the space that you're gonna be able to have in there. You can't even see the 2200 4S when it's jammed all the way forward. I bet you could probably get away with 35, maybe 3600 4S, depending on your weight. Now, we're not calling it the fastest sports racer out of the box, but it certainly is quick. But what we believe this sport racer is gonna offer people is a much easier, true hand launch. You're not gonna be, it's not gonna torque roll on you. You can take off at about 50% throttle and just all around performance, guys. This is gonna give you the most balance for the money. And of course, you're backed by Motion RC's customer service. So as far as all the other features, one of them I really like is, well, well, you'll see as we get in, the ESC tray. The ESC is behind the tray. It's an 80 amp ESC. And the way that cools is, this uh, little scoop underneath, all the air comes in and it hits that ESC right away. So you're not gonna have to worry about overheating your ESCs. You do have some cooling for the inner cabin too, right on top. And then you have an aluminum, aluminum spinner. So let me just, you can see as hard as a rock, beautiful. With an APC propeller, I think it's a 7.4 by seven pitch. I'll check that when I read my specs. But overall guys, she is mean, she is fast, she is fun and that's the most important thing and as all our models that will be coming from our Skynetic brand she is going to be between 50 and 200 dollars so as of filming this I didn't know the price yet but take a look at the link in the description and you'll get all that information so now that'll do it for here let's read through all the spec then we'll go through a quick unboxing then we'll go step by step to the build and then at the very end I'll plug it in rev her up a little bit and we'll end this video so let's get started with the spec All right, guys, so the Havoc 1 meter electric razor from Skynetic is going to be a 1,000 millimeter wingspan, 880 millimeters in length. The motor up front is a 3542 1600 kV brushless outrunner. And again, the propeller is a 7.8 by 7, so I was close on the prop up front, and that's APC. You got a Hobbywing 80 amp ESC inside. It's got four 9 gram metal digital servos inside so that's two for your ailerons one for your rudder one for your elevator and we are recommending a four cell 2200 but as i said we've already flown it on a 3000 uh, 4s and she is beautiful so guys that'll do it for the spec let's show you how she came out of the box 
All right, guys, so as you can see, when you get your box from Skynetic, it's got Motion RC on it, it's got Skynetic on it. We're so proud of that. We're always proud of our in house brands like Admiral, Profly, Rotor Scale, and now Skynetic. So taking out beautiful box art is waiting for you inside. And then taking off the box, you can see this is going to be wrapped in foam beautifully. You shouldn't have to worry about any sort of nicks or dinks. Uh, she's wrapped up nice. So let's pull out some of the baggies first. You're definitely going to have a baggie that's going to have all your control rods and screws. You do get a Y lead. Those are going to be for your ailerons. You've got your spinner and your prop assembly. So it's going to have two screws inside. Actually, every single bag of screws in this kit gives you one extra. So you're going to have one extra screw for each thing. You got your prop and your carbon spar. That's for your elevator. You can see you got your main one piece wing. And as I said, there are about six carbon spars or six spars throughout. There's even spars in the ailerons. There is no flex on these wings, which is fantastic. And you can see it up against the light. Looks beautiful. You take out your two elevators. They come in two halves. Again, your uh, horizontal stabilizers. And then once you have that out, only thing left is the fuselage, which comes in one piece, as you can see. Motor looks mean up front and all the detail all around from Skynetic on the tail to Motion RC right behind the pilot, Admiral APC X-Wave. All right guys, so that'll do it for the unboxing. Let's get started with a step-by-step -step build. All right guys, so first things first, you're gonna see your Y lead. I did this right away off the bat. You'll see there are two aileron servo leads coming out of the main piece wing. Just do this now because you're not going to be able to do it once you attach the wing. Uh, plug in your Y lead, okay? So once those are plugged in, all good, put that off to the side. Now let's get focused on the tail. So you're going to find your two elevator, uh, two horizontal stabilizer pieces, and you're going to find your one carbon spar. So take your one carbon spar, put it through one side, fit it through the tail as you would expect, and then you're going to fit the other side. Now just be mindful that these screw in from the top down. So the side that has the holes on the elevators, that's the top side. So those uh, screw holes should all line up beautifully. The two plastic bits on the elevators, they come together as you press them together. Then you're gonna just take four of the five screws that you're provided, drive them in, and your horizontal stabilizers are done. Now next step is gonna be attaching the main wing. So as I said, you already have your Y lead attached because we did that first. Drop that through the hole. She fits in nice and snug. And then you're gonna take four screws. These four here, they give you five. Again, these are the biggest screws in the pack. They're the machine screws. Drive those four screws in, and you are done with your main wing assembly. Now, next step is going to be installing the included battery tray. You see it here, it's a yellowish green. And the four remaining screws you get, they should be the smallest ones. That's how you're going to uh, install this. There's four easy holes that lines up nicely. But what I would do is bind the aircraft up, make sure all your wires are plugged in together, and then this can help um, just eliminate some of the mess inside of the battery tray. But this is going to go right over the top of your ESC as so. Drive in the four screws, and we'll move on to the next step. And then remember guys, when you're gonna install your control linkages, do this after the plane is bounded up so all your servos are centered and everything, and that's what we'll get started with now. So what I did first, loosen up the grub screws on the elevator and the rudder. So then when you attach, so when you attach your ball links to both the control horns on the rudder and the elevator with the screws and the nuts provided, then you could just slide it, center it perfectly because you know the servos are centered, you have it bound up, then you can tighten down the grub screw for the elevator and the rudder. Then after that, they give you two control rods and with the ball links already attached for the ailerons. Get those assembled, very easy guys. And then once that's done, all the uh, control linkages and rods are done. So now you can unplug your battery and let's assemble the prop. So taking the prop out of the bag guys, again, it's nice aluminum black anodized aluminum, probably adding some nice nose weight for you too. But you see you get your back plate, there's a nut and a washer on the prop shaft, and you got the spinner. So you're going to put the back plate on first, then you're going to put the prop, then you're going to put the washer, then you're going to put the nut, you're going to tighten that down, then you're going to put the spinner on, and you're going to use one of the two screws that were in the bag with the spinner assembly, and you're going to drive that dead center through and that is going to hold on to your propeller. 
All right, guys, there you have it. At this point, we are done with the build and you have a fully completed Havoc racer. She is mean looking. I'm hoping eventually, I'm sure we might come out with a different scheme, but um, this first scheme is really, really, really cool. I dig it. Now let's just plug it in and let's show you how that motor sounds. So again, I'm gonna fly this on my first flight. It's gonna be with a 2500 Admiral Pro. They give you A Skynetic uh, battery strap is inside, but you could put that right side up. I'm gonna push her as far forward as I can. Wrap that down and tighten it down. She's not going anywhere. Let's get her plugged in. Perfect. Separate my antennas for now, but here she is, so you can see ailerons so i didn't do any setup yet that's my full deflection i'm on the outermost hole that's going to be a drill bit so uh i'm probably going to lower those down elevator that's full rudder and now let's goose it Woo! Woo! i like the sound of that well, that'll do it, guys, for the one meter Havoc Racer. I'm gonna go do a maiden as soon as possible. We got another one here, me and Wesley Miller. Gonna be doing some tandem formation flying, racing, and hopefully we just crash them and get it on video because I bet it would be epic. But that'll do it here, guys, brand new. We're so excited about Skynetic. We can't wait to populate so many different categories of aircraft with Skynetic products. So stay tuned for more from Motion RC. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.